Welcome Scorpio and cross watchers. This is your general love reading Scorpio. I feel like there's a relationship that's out in the cold, but somebody wants to work on this situation, but have they let go of the third party? Stick around. Let's see where this goes. Scorpio, let's get into your energy. Then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. Then I'll get into your reading and then get you some clarity with some Oracle cards. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity and guidance for Scorpio. Hey, you've been thinking about something for a long time, Scorpio, or you're juggling something for a long time. So. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance, give me the energy of all 12 signs around Scorpio, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. I feel like they're trying to understand something with a different mindset where their Empress is concerned. If you're dealing with a Taurus, someone is being very strategic, not showing emotions about a new beginning in love. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Somebody's uh, needing to make a head over heart decision um, about their 10 of cups. So um, happy wife, happy life kind of situation. You know, this is a person that fills all 10 cups for you. If you're dealing with a cancer, someone's very up in their head about an ending. So something new can begin closing out a cycle, a karmic cycle. If you're dealing with a Leo, Somebody's waiting because there's a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition around. If you're dealing with a Virgo, somebody is out in the cold wanting to communicate. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody's not speaking. They're using their intuitions. This is about a victory. They're not speaking, um, but they want to be victorious here, but they're not speaking about it. You're dealing with another Scorpio. You've got the death card, which is Scorpio. Um, so there's an ending in a tower. Ooh. So something ended and that tower fell. And so the tower is something that's built on a is not built on a solid foundation. It's going to crumble. So something's going to crumble here. And there is an ending. So you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Feeling there's somebody anxious about this heartbreak sleepless nights because they're heartbroken if you're dealing with a capricorn i feel like um it's trying to master his emotions divine masculine's trying to master his emotions here if you're dealing with an aquarius somebody's working with a um earth sign here uh, working with the queen of pentacles it could be an x if you're an aquarius um, and if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's resting and recovering from a King of Wands. Okay. So whatever happened with that King of Wands causing this person to take a minute and rest and recover. So if that's Pisces energy though. So Scorpio, your energy. It's been a long time with that Knight of, Pen Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving Knight in the deck. We'll cross the finish line, but it's going to take forever. Okay. You've been juggling something or you're trying to make a decision for a long time about something. Very uh, earthy energy there, both cards. So let's get into your reading. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know, please? Hey, so Scorpio, you want a new beginning of love and abundance and you want to heal something. You're working on this. You're working on a new beginning and you're trying to heal a relationship. You're looking at something from a different, you're taking the time to see something clear. Some Doing some soul searching. Um, the light's been shed on something. There's a snake underneath this. You see that snake there? That that light's being shown on. Somebody was a player, Knight of Wands. Somebody was in and out. Somebody was there for a good time, not a long time. And you see that clearly. That's why you're, you're, 
you're looking to have a new beginning and heal to work on a relationship. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. So this could be you, this could be you, Scorpio, mastering your emotions here about an ex from the past, six of six of cups that's out in the cold at a crossroads wanting to communicate. So you have somebody that wants to come in and communicate with you, but I feel like you're trying to get it together with your emotions. You're coming in as a masculine energy here. You're wanting to heal um, a situation, I feel like, and have a new beginning. But somebody's being very strategic and cold here um, about reconciling. So this could be the ex. They're coming in as a queen of, of pinnacles. So you could be dealing with a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but their energy is coming in as the queen of swords, very strategic, not showing emotion, um, wanting to reconcile this. Let me see if I can get that to where you can see it a little bit better. Someone's very, yeah, they're very guarded, being strategic about it. They're not showing emotion. So you're wanting to heal with them, but do they want to heal with you? Um, this tower's falling here. So there's, there's something that wasn't built on a solid foundation. This was your energy, Scorpio, has ended. It ended, and, and that tower fell. But then you're waiting. You're still waiting. I've, under the bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Wands. There's some burdens here, a lot of burden. Get you some clarity here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity and guidance for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know? So you're looking back at the past, the mistakes that were made, wanting a new beginning of love and abundance. You're wanting to rest and recover and heal. That's what you're wanting to do, a situation. You're waiting, but you're not speaking. Okay, there's waiting, but not speaking. Or is this, oh, no, sorry, that's the three of pinnacles. Uh, you want to work on something, that, but you're not speaking to each other. You want to work on something, but you're not speaking. You're using your intuition here about this relationship because you feel like this person is your empress. So the 1111 card, this may be a twin. So you, you feel like this is your person. The light's been shed on a queen of swords. So this queen of swords up here, there's, this may be a third party situation. So some, you're getting clarity about this queen of swords, somebody who is very strategic, not showing emotion. And I feel like you're being divinely guided to rush in. So this wasn't necessarily someone being a player. You're being divinely guided to rush towards somebody with this Knight of Pentac or Knight of Wands. So that they always rush in and rush out. Queen of Coin. There's something hidden with the Queen of Coins here. There's secrets or an illusion or even emotion. But now you're being strategic. So you're th with this. With this card, Scorpio, I feel like the King of Swords has a plan to win no matter what, okay? He knows what he's doing before he even starts the, you know, before he even gets in the car to go, he knows what his plan is. Mastering your emotions so that you're very strategic about what you do in the situation. So this person could be hiding their emotion or hiding how they truly feel. That's what I feel like with this card. So this X is hiding their emotions. Is this somebody from the past? You want to apologize. You want to offer something. You're out in the cold and you have some regrets. You're at a crossroads on how you're going to get this to move forward. And you want to communicate. You feel unhappy that you're not communicating or you're discontent that you're not communicating or you feel a missed opportunity and you want to communicate. To have a victory. Okay, so this Queen of Swords being strategic about reconciling, very guarded and defensive, at a crossroads, waiting, waiting because they can't get you out of their head, something long-term and committed. 
that's out in the cold. So she's thinking about this. She's back and forth about whether or not she wants to get back with this because this situation is out in the cold. It has ended here, and but she can't get this out of her head with that that eight of swords and that that 10 of pentacles. This is something she can't get out of her head. And I say she because she's coming in as a queen of, of swords. So a feminine energy. I, I get questions about but you said he or she, and there's no gender in tarot. I make reference because one's a queen and one's a king, okay? Masculine or feminine energy. Take it out, resonates with you. Oh, I get, I, okay. Oh, okay. Now I get this completely now. Okay. So you have somebody who's very strategic about reconciling something because they're very guarded. They're at a crossroads waiting up in their head about something long term and committed that is out in the cold. They want to know whether or not you've left that option behind. Emperor energy. So has the emperor left the the uh, the third party behind? That's why he's out in the cold. That's why the masculine is out in the cold. That tower fell. This was an ending. It was over, but somebody's still waiting. Because of a choice between two, somebody moved on, communicating that they were working. They're working with a th working with juggling, working with a third party. And as as a player, this is the emperor's lowest vibration, and that's what made them happy. So you feel like that ended between the two of you because of a third party situation, but you waited because you know this was your person. So you want a new passionate beginning in a, in a relationship with the eleven eleven card, okay, with somebody from your past. Let's get you some clarity. So, guides and guardians, please give me some clarity. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity here. Okay, so your well-being, is it in your best interest to reconcile the truth here? Is it in your best interest to reconcile the truth? Do you feel it's in your best interest? Healing. Healing the future. Dive deep. So you've got to go deep here uh, to heal this, okay? And I feel like you're going to do it with light and trust, okay? Light and trust. Okay. Wow. 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 <laughs> okay. Scorpio. Springtime. We're closing out the springtime. We're getting pretty close to the summertime, but this is going to close this cycle. Spring is going to close this cycle. Be patient. Be patient because there was destruction here and a conclusion. Okay. Someone was the victim because of a karmic partner here. Scorpio, that's all I got for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.